Danny considered himself a fairly handy person. So when he purchased a brand new state-of-the-art cell phone, he tossed aside the instruction manual and began pressing the buttons. Hours later, when he still hadn't installed his contact list, set his ringtone, or located the shutter button for the camera, he humbly picked up the manual and began reading. Generally, the more complex the mechanism, the greater is the need to read the manual. In the observance of mitzvahs, the halachas, the laws, are the instruction manual that teach us how to ensure that we press all the right buttons. Proper speech, Shabbos observance, business dealings, and prayer are just a few of the areas of a Jew's everyday life that are governed by halacha. It is impossible to do tshuva and to correct the mistakes and sins we commit in these areas unless we know the laws of tshuva itself. Inspiration alone is not nearly enough to prevent one from stumbling. The Chavetz Chaim says there is no solution other than studying the halachas. Learning should be consistent and methodical, he advises. There must be a set time each day, whether a lot or a little, to learn the relevant laws. When the Torah tells us that tshuva is in your mouth and in your heart, it is emphasizing that we should study the laws of tshuva. In this way, we'll be able to do it enthusiastically and properly and reap the rich rewards that tshuva brings. Now, during Elul, is the time to learn about the power of tshuva, to learn about the abundant benefits of tshuva, the strategies of clearing the path to tshuva, the techniques to enduring tshuva, and the actual laws of tshuva, all in just five minutes a day. By doing this, you can make this Elul and the period through Yom Kippur one of the most rewarding and successful times of your life. So please join us as we embark on the path to tshuva and to inscribe ourselves for a year of blessings, health, success, and happiness, and all in just five minutes a day.